Coach Salino is 17 inches. As a kid, I grew up listening to Coach talk about many different things on the field and off the field. Life, baseball, and the parallel between the two. 17 inches talks about not expanding the 17-inch home strike zone, whether it's for your star player, your bench player, on the field or off the field. Basically, once you start that expansion, where does it stop? Coach was really good about talking in realms of character, class, and integrity. And if you stay within 17 inches, you're not making exceptions. And therefore, the understanding is pure. The chemistry from your star player to your bench player, everyone feels that they are part of the team. Together, everyone achieves more. John Wooden, but back to Coach Kalinos, he'd walk into his audience, his auditorium, and he'd have a home plate over you know, his chest around his neck, just like this. The audience would chuckle at Coach as he was going about his process in the speech, and then he'd get to his prop, his basic home plate prop. And that's a home plate 17 inches wide. Many since Coach has become legendary, many have tried to coin the 17 inches for whatever reason uh, in a brand label or, you know, in speeches that they've recreated after they have been blessed to hear Coach Galena's talk at the American Baseball Coaches Association. And every year, you know, there's write-ups now on the internet about how people were paying just to go see Coach. Now, going to the Cal Poly Pomona baseball camps is a little tight all the way up until two decades ago in junior college when he came to speak to my baseball theory class. It was a privilege to hear him talk about Donkeyville and the seven balls, but most importantly, 17 inches. This video in particular is from my sister who just got married. Um, her wonderful husband is a baseball coach at a Division three program in Southern California, University of Redland. And uh, basically, it wasn't too far, or Redlands isn't too far from the home field of Cal Poly Pomona, where Coach Galinos became legendary, not only for his accolades as a winning coach, but for his development of human beings and, and quality character, quality integrity, um, you know, quality people. Um, Talked about the seven balls real quick. You know, you have the hard ball, the snot ball, the pus ball, the jerk ball, the dog ball. Um, it's hard to recall off the top of my head two to three decades ago. Uh, basically looking for the hard ball because that means you're mentally tough. Uh, another one he talked about is Donkeyville. If, you know, if you're going to hang out with donkeys, you're going to go to Donkeyville. Um, and then... Uh, one of my personal favorites was the character speech, and he'd bring out his props of a rock, a jelly bean, a marshmallow, rock candy. Um, and he put them through the test of the elements, you know, earth, wind, and fire, basically. Um, you know, water wouldn't do anything to the rock, but it would change all the other, you know, marshmallow, jelly bean, um, rock candy. He'd then put it under heat with a, a lighter. The marshmallow would melt. The rock candy would uh, melt. Um, the jelly bean would melt. Then he'd put it under force and he'd smash it with a hammer and everything would change except for the rock. And so basically he was saying in a team atmosphere in life, be the rock. Be the rock because you won't change. And it goes back to the 17 inches. You know, when you put the, the rock under the you know, pressures of the elements, it pretty much stays in the same form compared to the marshmallow, the jelly bean, the raw candy. The thing about the marshmallow, ooh, it looks good, it looks tasty, it looks yummy. Same thing with the raw candy, same thing with, you know, the jelly bean. They're, they all have outside characteristics, but inside, you know, they're... Uh, they're changeable, I guess. They can they can change under pressure, whatever. Sure, the rock isn't glamorous, but you know it's solid, it's strong. Going back to the 17 inches, 
and treating your star player differently than your bench player, you're going to end up with problems within your team. You're going to have dissension. You're going to have uh, entitledness and that star player is going to carry it into the classroom or off the field life. And, and it's going to embarrass not only the program, but you know, it's going to embarrass you as a coaching staff or a university or, you know, an institution. So 17 inches, stay within 17 inches. Don't expand the zone for anyone. Stay right there. Coach Sklina said, and, and life will be consistent and things will be easy. So it's hard to go into character play of coach and, and really get into it. Um, and it's not really necessary because his presence alone uh, speaks volumes. You, you put in his name on the internet, and there are tons of articles um, and uh, many coaches of today's reflect on their opportunities to learn from coach and their opportunities to gain greater insight from everything that he was about. Um, my junior college coach played for him at Cal Poly Pomona and our baseball theory class was uh, very centered around what coach would talk about. Um, personally, as I get further into my book about journeys in baseball and sports adversity, I try and meditate and get deep into my recall of when I was a little kid running around that Cal Poly Pomona baseball field and uh, in junior college, sitting under the tree at Citrus College and listening to my coaches and, you know, then my four-year coach um, at UC Irvine and, you know, going through these uh, bits and moments of recall and, and seeing my successful coaches didn't allow the 17 inches to expand. You know, the coaches that sometimes struggled to be consistent um, in my amateur days, they did allow the 17 inches to expand. And personally, they expanded 17 inches themselves. So when I look back and some of my peers now that are coaching, the most successful ones are staying within that 17 inches. They're not treating uh, their star player or their bench player any different than, you know, the guy right in the middle. Um, so once again, this is a tribute to Coach Scalinos for my sister who, being 10 years younger, she wasn't around or, or really um, able to hear much about Coach Scalinos rather than um, just kind of hear from some of her, uh, her husband's friends or, you know, from myself or my dad or my brother um, based on our stories of, you know, summer and winter camp every year growing up from, you know, five years old to 14 years old. So um, pretty fortunate to have been around that setting and be exposed to such uh, a great man and a, a, a great mindset of Coach Glinos. So anyways, uh, I hope this kind of explains the 17 inches in a short gist. Don't expand the zone. Stay within 17 inches.